everybody what is that welcome back to the conclusion of knee deep i'm not sure if they're gonna do a recap or not but if they're not i'm glad to do it for you Hold on. so briefly episode one we get introduced to our three characters that are playing there's been a suicide um it's called a suey okay We gotta call it a suey because uh, YouTube, I'm pretty sure, likes to flag retarded stuff. But anyway, and play yesterday pretty much just started bodying everybody. Like all types of innocent vice to case just got bodied for no reason. That by far to me was the best episode. I would really recommend going back to watch that. So let's see where we end up now. Our people got captured by the weest. And uh, let's just go, all right? See what they want. Welcome to the stream. Those of you catching this on YouTube, be sure to come check us out sometime over on twitch.tv. Welcome like back. It. Settle in for the conclusion of our Swamp Noir story with Knee Deep Boomtown. They really water these down, don't they? The lonely hours just before dawn. Our doomed town does what it can to carry on. Death at the tower. Carnage at the festival. Reptiles on the loose. Ill omens for those desperate for power. Uh, talking to yourself now, Bob? You are late, Jefferson Dean Gallant. Our tale of treachery and woe is underway once more. Okay, so we're in Act 3 now. The good guys are screwed. The bad guys are winning. It's all over but the body bags. A succinct, if incomplete, summary of the events in Cypress Knee. Now may I resume? <laughs> Why not? From kings and queens to knights and pawns. From such machinations a cataclysm spawns. Sad how they all pretend nothing's gone horribly wrong. No one wonders. No one cares. The danger lurks, and our town slumbers, unaware. That big old gator wandering free, the cause of years of misery? I'll track him all the way to his swampy lair. Danger comes in many shapes and forms. Our heroes, imprisoned by the church of us, weather unwelcome storms. I say the blogger girls are only hope, but God knows she's running out of rope. You think the detective's dog can change your fate? <laughs> Guess we'll see how he performs. Daybreak throws aside its twilight cowl and waits to face what's on the prowl. Meanwhile, on County Road 39, Monroe follows the scent of his missing master to the Golden Cypress construction site. I just scored Primordial. Again. Would you quit messing with the Opto level machine? You'll throw off the calibration. We can't just sit on them forever. Remy thinks they know way too much. The math's not hard, boys. It's just simple subtraction. Why are we hurting Daddy? I didn't sign on for this. It's going too far. A little too late in the game for second thoughts, Chief. <laughs> Don't get lost in the swamp. No way they'll kill us. 
Wouldn't be too sure about that. They killed Larman. Killed Clendenning and Tina Gray. Killed that poor woman from the planning office. Oh, we're dead. No doubt in my mind. Tamara's running the show. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did a dog just drive a tractor into this shed? What's the problem? To Florida? Not Florida enough, actually. Unless the dog's a pit bull with a mullet and the tractor is flying a Confederate flag. Monroe's right. We should go. Looking like swamp apes in nice suits. Get them! It's been a long time since I came out into the murk. Hope I still know the way. Come for the mosquitoes, stay for the crotch leeches. Crotch leeches? You've been here before? A few times. After Dad died, J.D. Gallant sort of took me under his wing. His shack's out here. Living in a shack out here is liable to drive anyone nuts. He's not as crazy as you think. Gator eats your baby, maybe you come unglued some. This must be the place. Gator eats my baby. I'm gonna be having some uh, gator shoes, gator boots, maybe a gator purse, gator belt, gator bra, I'm sure. Maybe a gator headband. You get the fucking point, right? You get the point. <laughs> he ain't living. Good to see you all made it out of the clutches of the bad guys. And gals, I guess. We wouldn't be alive if it weren't for the dog. Guess Bob Woodstep's not as loony as I thought. Hope not this, JD. Glad for the company. Especially now that you know what I've been up against. It's true. Everybody wants a piece of Golden Cypress. Let it go. We can't keep at this fight. I should have listened to Bob. Gotta get Mom, make sure she's okay, and get away from here. Never look back. I'm done with people pushing me around. You're not thinking like them. They're ruthless. That's why they'll get away with it. Casey's right. He's talking like a goddamn coward. But we can't refute the logic. They've got your boy, Jack. Miss T, they'll target anyone close to you. Whatever it takes to shut you up, if they can't kill you first. They've hurt my mother before. No reason they wouldn't try again. I want my boy safe. I just don't think any of us can get close to him right now. No, y'all definitely stand out. Best you keep a low profile. Everybody just blows you off as batshit crazy though, JD. Y'all not gonna fix that front porch deck no time soon? Pretty liberating for me, don't you think? <laughs> y'all sit tight. Keep an ear on the police. I'll head into town and see what's going on. We're just supposed to trust you? Just in case. It made more sense for me to grab a rattlesnake than that gun. Suit yourself. I'll take that. Don't leave us hanging here too long, JD. Be careful. Careful's not really a thing for folks like us, kid. Thanks for giving us a little sanctuary, JD. 
We've always been there for each other when it counted, kid. It's good to see you back in town, shitty circumstances aside. A little late to the party, but I'm proud to back your play. We're taking those bastards down, Casey. Don't you worry about that. The Church of Us really did a number on our town. Sure as hell did. So now, it's payback time. Make sure she's safe, all right? Get her out here with us. I want her protected. I'll get her out of the crossfire, but when we're done with Tamara and her church pals, I want your help with something. What do you have in mind? You remember Merle, right? Big old albino gator ate my boy, hurt my wife. You help me track him down. We end him together. Count on it. Thanks, kid. Keep an eye on him, Monroe. All this over a glorified shopping mall and a few nice houses. I know, right? Your town's not exactly a scenic wonder to behold. Hey, it's still home. Doubt you come from anywhere better. I sometimes miss the smog and the drive-bys. Too bad the cellular signal sucks out here, huh? Could have tracked their phones with GPS. If they had a decent signal, they'd be posting more nonsense to the internet. Can't have that. Hey, that's a good point. You two, take Reggie and Tag on the airboat to the island. I'll figure out what to do next. Can't we just go home? Not until we deal with Daddy. And his friends. Remy, go with them? No, I've got a special job for you, Remy. Feed the fish. Jesus Christ, did you really have to kill him? He knew too much and wasn't worth keeping around. Boy, I like to talk a lot. It's just... Oh, man up, Hollywood. You're making dark matters look bad. Anyway, you're still dead, right? Get on the boat with my boy. How about Bella, Gaddis, and the girl? Shift to plan B, sugar. Get Gary Buckingham on the phone. Time to get us some extra leverage. Watch your step, kid. This place looks creepy. It's much cooler on the inside. What's in there? Something dangerous for little kids. Don't touch stuff. Got a game console in this place? I'm bored. Playtime's over, boy. They really can't spare the juice for amusements, you see. Stop talking, Amos. Bored. I've got all the Operation Amazeballs movies on my phone if you want to watch them. Boring. We'll wait outside. Maybe existentialist is more your speed? Lame. At least we've got Wi-Fi in here. Hey, you shouldn't mess around there, Reggie. Corpses don't talk. Ooh, that's cool. Creepy, but cool. 
What the heck is that? Can't be sure, but I just heard a panicked backyard howl. Could be big old jumpers on the prowl. Accident or ill intent, the gator's escape smells mighty foul. Chaos falls on Cypress' knee, the scales and fangs of panic. This loose gator's got us feeling frayed and frantic. Town leaders gather, searching for a plan. If they can't catch Jumper, let's hope they find someone who can. The hour for action grows late. Can anything be done to stem our town's grim fate? Look, folks, let's not lose our minds over a few cats and dogs here and there. Let's keep it all introspective. I think you mean in perspective, Gary. No, Eula. If I meant armpit sweat, don't you think I'd say that? It's a serious situation, Mr. Buckingham. What are you doing to put us at ease? Now, now, we're all taking this very seriously. My brother and I are offering a generous cash reward to anyone who catches Jumper and brings him in dead or alive. Ten thousand dollars. I'll catch that gator, teeth to tail. Won't take a paltry ten thousand, though. You want Jumper back in his pen at that shithole by the interstate? It'll cost fifty. Fifty thousand? We could buy every dog and cat in this town a gator-proof suit for that kind of money. Got time to prove that? Fine, J.D. You bag him. The reward's yours. Fifty thousand. That's a luminous amount of money, Doyle. Ludicrous. Ain't got nothing to do with playing pipes. Uh, excuse me, folks. I gotta take this call. What happened to the blogger? Jack Bellet? Casey Gaddis? They're okay for now. Swamp's about to be buzzing with looky-loos after that reward for Jumper, though. Can I help? I promised Casey we'd get his mom to safety. You know where she lives? I do. Go get her and take her out to my place in the swamp. And what will you do? Coming up soon, we'll be live with Tamara Bellet and Police Chief Chip Pendleton to hear the truth of what happened at Chief Roadside's Wonderland. I'm gonna violate the First Amendment. I'm really not feeling the love for this sit and wait plan of gallons. <laughs> you got a better idea? You bet I do. Or did. Goddamn intricate plan just sort of flapped in and out of my brain like a loopy bat. We've still got questions that need answers. We won't find them hiding in this hovel. We blew JD off before. Look how that worked out. I'm with the girl, Casey. We're better off on the move, not just sitting on our hands. Besides, we've got a shotgun, right? Fine, so what's the new plan? I'm curious about where Kern and his pals took Cordray's corpse. And why? The natural gas pipes look like they're going toward the old paper mill in the swamp. Start that direction? Try not to throw your backs out keeping up with me, geezers. That crazy bellied woman and her accomplices want to spin their own story about what happened at Chief Roadsides. We can't let that happen, dog. Seems like you know your way around a recreational vehicle, Chief. When I retire, plan on taking Lurleen and the kids on a road trip across the country in one of these. God, that sounds miserable. I won't save you a seat then. No worries. Let's go inside and get Billy Ray up to speed. Okay, I worked here 30 years ago. 
Think they ever changed the code, Monroe? Oh, here we go. What's the name of the radio station? I don't know. <laughs> that was just, that's the one thing I was to. All right, let's see. All right, let's stop the signal. It was literally in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> All right, Cypress Me, as promised, WCKN AM is bringing you an exclusive with survivors of last night's tragic events. Our guests are Tamara Bellett and our own town police chief, Chip Pendleton. Thanks for joining us. I know you had a long, scary night. I just thank the good Lord I'm still alive and kicking, Billy Ray. God's still got a plan for me. I bet he does, Chief. But all the madness. Tag Kern hang from our tower? Jim Larman stabbed to death? Tina Gray and Ozzy Clendenning killed by a falling ladder? Gordon Cordray gets the blame before he dies, but then Danny Gibbons dies at the festival? What's happening to our town, folks? Gordon Cordray made a convenient scapegoat for journalists taking advantage of the chaos in Cypress Knee. There's a lot more to the story. So spill it! Tell everyone in range of the sound of my voice what's really going on! Well, Billy Ray, the truth is that... Huh! Well, guess we can record this on my phone. I'll upload it to our website later. Maybe I could get a job in retail at Golden Cypress. I'll give you 20 minutes into a Black Friday sale before your ass goes postal. Yeah, but think about the employee discounts. Are we close to our destination, Codgers? We're getting there, yeah. 
Great. I didn't bring leech repellent. After Dad died, I spent a lot of time hanging with Gallant in that shack. He's a decent guy beneath all that crazy swamp hermit bluster. I always got the feeling he missed having a family. What's with the strange manic pixie act anyway? Your mom always seemed more down to earth. You're the last person who needs to bring my mother into this. You ruined her life and helped Gordon Cordray frame an innocent man. Frame? What are you talking about? Boyd Conover didn't have an affair with Mom. Cordray did. He left clues to lead you to Conover. That son of a bitch. Jesus, Casey. You sure got played, didn't you? Watch it, Jack. I'm in no mood. So, wait. If Cordray was your mother's lover, that means he was your daddy, too. The shit you say. Seriously? Your dad was Pappy McCrazy called? Sure seems that way. Imagine my surprise. That sucks, kid. Sorry. More walking, less talking, old dudes. How bad is it, Billy Ray? Missing a couple fuses. And they yanked some wires free. We're offline at least six hours. Two sets of footprints. Man and a dog, looks like. Gaddis and his mutt, maybe? Oh, he should have stayed in the swamp. He can cause serious problems for us. We'll put Casey Gaddis in check soon enough, sugar. I'll get to work on the repairs. What should I do with the interview? Nothing. For now. Night turned to day, but the unseen voice won't go away. In my head I hear him speak. Is it madness or wisdom? I cannot say. Worry not, friend Woodstep. I won't trouble you long. Our work will soon be done. The task at hand is full of peril. What are the chances I'll see the rising sun? Darkness dwells in un. You want me to what? Come with me to a house in the middle of Cypress Swamp. And what? Your son's in trouble. He's angered powerful people. He wants you safe. Safe? With a strange man in the middle of the swamp? It's not as crazy as it sounds. How do I know you're not the dangerous one? A fair question. But I would never hurt you, Mrs. Gaddis. Nor would I allow harm to come to you if it were in my power to prevent it. You can trust me. That's right, Bob. Thanks for keeping her safe. I'll get her out of here. Your chariot awaits, Mrs. Gaddis. And why should I trust you, Gary Buckingham? You've never been a friend to my family. I'm a trusted public servant. Lord knows I need all the votes I can get against that no count troublemaker Ch Chichester. What do you think, Bob? Should I go with him? Are you kidding? He's part of it all. Go with him and you're dead. Hate to do this, Monique, but if you don't come with me, they're gonna kill your son. Let's go. You just see if I bring a batch of chocolate peanut brittle to the town council this Christmas. Well, I was not expecting that. Oh, Romana Teague. 
I'll be remembered for much more than dying in some sad Florida tourist trap. How's anyone ever going to know she was wrong? Isn't your whole stupid plan supposed to make people think you're dead? Like I said, kid, the plan's not that complicated. Sounds dumb. It's not. The insurance money helps grease the wheels for Golden Cypress going forward. But you killed a guy who looks like you, pretended to be dead by suicide, then, uh, got my dad and his friends to prove it wasn't suicide? Right. How's that complicated? Makes perfect sense. You killed Ray Swayhill's brother, too. Well, technically, Ozzy Clendenning killed Jack Swayho. Made it look like a Florida-worthy accident. I don't see why all these people have to get hurt or die for something stupid like Golden Cypress. People die for a lot less every day, Reggie. Bad reason to do bad things. You're just too young to appreciate the genius. Your mother gets it. She's a mastermind. Can't wait to explain this to Dr. Webb. It's starting. What? Like the kid makes sense though. Like, do you really think that you're gonna fake your death, get the insurance money, give it to them, and they're gonna let you walk the fuck away? And you're a popular actor? Bro, they capping you as soon as they get their hand on that money. Future. Oh, I see. This is where you're gonna shoot me now? Not gonna shoot anybody if I don't have to. We're just gonna meet some folks out in the Cypress Swamp. What folks, exactly? Good people. You'll see. Good old murder. Got that airboat people. ready, Gary. Eula Dean. You're in on all this mess, too? I'll make sure the car gets back to town. You better answer me, Eula Dean. It's out of my hands. I'm sorry. Let's go, Monique. We shouldn't have left the shack. Get the shotgun ready. You've got company. No, that's Gallant. Monroe's with him. Mom's not. I told you gold-plated dipshits to stay in the shack. I didn't want to come. They made me. Where's my mother, J.D.? You were going to get her. Sent wood step to get her while I was pulling off a bit of sabotage at the radio station. They might be back at my place by now. Cyber Screen Local. Please respond to reported shots found at 1719 Magnolia Street. That's my mom's house, JD. Looks like at least one victim was shot on the porch. Blood trail leads to the driveway. Might have left in a car. Roger that. Take the hospital. I'm sure she's okay, kid. What are we doing to make certain? Get on the boat. I think I know where they're going. You got no cause to shoot that boy. Sure I did. He wouldn't hurt anybody. He's bad for Golden Cypress. You're supposed to lead by example, Gary Buckingham. You shot a defenseless man and kidnapped an old lady. How's that gonna look? Now listen here, Monique. 
I appreciate your mild mentored Elvis Glove approach to crisis management, but I did what I had to do for reasons. Don't you mean? Man, what the? Stuck on a muck bar. Oh, no problem. Don't want to mess up my suit, though. Hey, Mary, what's going on? Thanks for the host, babe. Oh, shit. Uh... I love how they never give me... Oops. Repeatedly press the keys to move the sliders to the center target areas. So L1 and R1? Okay. A little hiccup in the plant. That's all. No problem. Oh. Jump off. Well, he's no longer a problem. Take me to my daughter. They reanimated this man by this is the guy that jumped off the, the water tower or the wherever it was. Um Phaedra's dad, her real dad. Love to. Can't think of anything I'd rather do. Top of my list. Thing is she's gone to ground. She needs to see this. She must understand the awesome power the Church of Us commands. Death is nothing. Death is a catnap. Zombies don't talk. I am no zombie. I'm not what I was before, though. I am much improved. Um, I disagree. I'm looking at brain on the side of your head. I can see your brain. Cosmetic damage. Reparable. Reparable? It's amazing. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh. Oh, well, bless your heart, Gordon. Great to see you up and about. Good to have you back, boss. Christ! He abandoned or something on that head wound. The church elders can fight this truth no longer. This time, they'll approve broad use of the technology. I'm living proof. It works. You keep using that word. So we're not going to talk about how you just flung old boy like 15 feet into the wall. Because you fling me like that, we got to fight. My ego is not going to let this shit happen. Alright, so the airboat. Where's the narrator? The airboat piloted by Jefferson Jean Gallant arrives near the stalled Buckingham airboat. Monique Gaddis is hunched beside a cypress tree. See, she's fine, more or less. You're fine, right, Monique? You all right, Mom? Big Gator. Nearly killed me. Gary Buckingham. He's good and dead. You heard it all? Just shook up is all. Poor Bob Woodstep, though. Buckingham shot that poor fella. Left him for dead. At my house. So rude. How big was that gator? Big as that Cadillac when Rock won for selling cosmetics. White as bug paint on the palm tree. That's Merle. 
That's the albino bastard I've been hunting all these years. Which way did he go? Focus, Mr. Gallant. Tamara and her cronies have my boy. We don't have time for this vendetta. That monster killed my son, wrecked the woman I loved, tore my life apart. Can't you wait just a little longer for vengeance? I've waited too long as it is. Sorry. I gotta do this. Time to finish this. is dead, J.D. I'm not doing so hot either. <sighs> On it. We're given no quarter. That's the spirit, kid. How do we find this place now? I know the way. What? What? What's that, bro? All right then, let's take him down. You walked all the way here with gunshot. This play can kind of be a uh... <laughs> wee bit unbelievable. Yeah. Early exit polls look bad for your pal Buckingham. Oh, now, you don't seriously think the people of Cypress Knee want you instead of Gary Buckingham, do you? Yes. They're ready for change. I'm calling it the jumper bump. Polls don't close for another couple hours, Chuck. Don't jump to conclusions. Surprised he's not here helping the mayor manage this crisis. Looks bad. Oh, he's off doing some important work. Is he paying someone off to win the election? He's not like that, Chuck. Oh, I'm pretty sure Gary would stop at nothing to stay in that town council seat. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I'm sure you do. It's no accident that poor woman from your office got electrocuted at the festival last night. Don't go spreading ugly lies, Chuck. People in Cypress Knee, they've got long memories. Um, talk about the festival, is it really necessary? The alligator, you know, let's go with time for a change. Ready for a new day in Cypress Knee, Mr. Mayor? You could say that. Now, I just heard from Gary. He wants to meet a chief roadside to talk about his concession speech. So that's the business he's been up to. Well, I... Uh, didn't want to say anything. I guess congratulations are in order, huh? I look forward to working with you, Mr. Mayor. I can't wait. Sketchy. Couldn't tell you why exactly. I just got this weird feeling brave in biker boots. I decided that moment that Gary Buckingham could keep his seat on the council. Got in my car, drove away. 
got on the interstate, never looked back. Good choice, it turns out. Time has come, Tamara. What's he talking about? I require your blood and skin for grafting to repair my injuries. No way. Gordon doesn't need all of it, sweetie. Does that seem scientifically sound to you? You try arguing with him. I'm Googling it. I'm all for making Golden Cypress a reality. I want nothing to do with hurting a kid. Golden Cypress won't ever happen. All the money is going towards this new technology Gordon wants to produce. Time. Grab that axe. The boy's left arm should do. Your mom's gonna fly with that? When a rabbit's skin falls short, he must borrow another's. He's lost a lot of blood. I'll stay with him. What is this place? You don't remember this old paper mill? I used to run around here when I was a kid. The Church of Us gave it an upgrade. At least Sailor Moon dolls don't give you tetanus. Let's get you bored, Jack. Yeah, I think y'all here right on time. Cause that is a sorry ass kid of a mother. March, but you're not done. I must rest. Sleep is for the weak and the dead. All right, so this is I can catch up. The guy talking, sitting beside mom, nukes here. That's the the Native American uh, rabbit spirit. It's just in, you know, human form talking to him. Well, yeah. Just stick with it a little while longer. I've got an idea. Who are you talking to, Bob? I must prepare. Let the boy go. Yeah, run, little kid. Run. Daddy, they want my arm to fix the crazy zombie man. What's this all about, son? It's always about progress, Jack. Time for you to get out of the way. Yes, I need another realtor. Well, damn. Watch out behind you, bruh. He's too strong, bro. Romano, so glad I got to see you again. You're even more of a monster than I thought. In you go, Reggie. We're leaving. Don't be hasty, Mr. Bellet. Quiet, and you'll be editor and publisher of the North Florida Notice. Don't let him walk up on you. Fuck off and die. Again. <laughs> We're not here to help you. We're here to stop all this. I'll find the boy. The church will find all of you. It's hopeless to stand against us. Immortality is the only option. That's my girl. You gotta aim for the head. It's a you zombie. Keep using man. that word. Go while you can, Casey Gannis. What's that man doing? Oh shit! Go, 
Okay, she go. The girl run into some shit and boom, go chee chee bang bang or boom. Oh, let's go boom. He said, "Behold." That can't be good. Behold. <laughs> Maybe we haven't gone far enough. Well, what's happening, Casey? Looks like a major catastrophe in the office. Can't we go home, Daddy? We're going to have to start over somewhere else, I think. Like, um, I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna roll it out of bed here. There's Jumper. It's unthinkable what Cordray attempted. Such gall. He made us look horrible. How do we get ahead of this? Well, we can always try Kentucky next time. Yeah, was that shade to Kentucky? Shit, not again. <laughs> This one really kind of fast, though. how we started in the beginning. That's actually, this game is actually better than I thought it was, to be honest. I caught it on sale in the PlayStation Store, so it was like, eh. It's like $2, why not? bodies on this on this one but most of it had to do with 
what do you call it? Um, no scandal. I'll be right back. I was seeing if they would give me another option, but they did not. Anywho, <coughs> that was actually better than I thought it was. Um, if you guys missed it, you know, it'll always be here on Twitch. I am sending it over to YouTube for tomorrow and the next day, and so on and so forth. But thanks for kicking it with you guys. I will see y'all for the next game later. Thanks for the host, Mayor.